please welcome the director of Alfred Jarry and Pataphysic, Mr. Skiz Sizi. Thanks. Your film looks like an, a very funny educational film. And it, it works as a funny film, and it works too as an educational film. So did you conceive the film as the part of something bigger, or? Yeah, uh, Alfred Jarry and Pataphysics is actually a short segment from a, a larger piece called Ice Pick to the Moon, which is a feature-length live-action documentary that I've been working on since 1999. Uh, uh, Ice Pick to the Moon is about a singer named Reverend Fred Lane, who was heavily influenced by Alfred Jarry. In fact, Fred Lane's first album was called The Pataphysical Review. Uh, I needed a way to explain who Jari was and pataphysics, and I didn't want to take up too much time in Ice Pick to the Moon, and I also didn't want to use narration, so I had to figure out a way to explain all this and realized I needed to use narration, and I tried to think of a, a clever, visually interesting way to, uh, to use narration, and I already had the, the t-shirts made for a music video that I made for the band of Jennifer's, and I decided to reuse those t-shirts. And, uh, and I'm going to do several more sequences similar to that to uh, space out throughout Ice Pick to the Moon. Because you have something very, uh, very interesting with, with this project. And you could do something like André Breton and surrealism and uh, a, a lot of things like that. So did you think about that? or? Uh, I have. I, I've thought about doing, uh, I've used the shirts twice now, and I really like how it turns out. Actually, if, if anybody saw the film, uh, look for the music video, because I think it worked even better in the music video. Uh, I want to use the shirts even more. Uh, I want to tackle some other subjects. I actually want to work in more shirts. I, I'm, I'm going to make two more colors of the shirts and have four people on screen, I think, the next time I shoot something and have them all take turns. Talking. The reason only one guy talks in the film is because the other guy couldn't fit in the shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't want to have, have him change the shirts for the other second. Est-ce qu'il y a des questions de la salle? Oui, Martin. I thought your film was a lot of fun. Um, I wondered if you had ever seen uh, Jeff Dunbar's film, Ubu. It's an animation from the late 70s. No, I, I, it, I, Shari is not quite as, as obscure as it seems. I, I did try to seek out uh, different film versions of the, the Ubu plays, mostly to get the uh, pronunciation of the first word, because I had no idea how it was pronounced. Uh, but no, I haven't seen that one. So I look for it. Another question? Is every uh, information is you, in your movie strictly um, uh, Authentic, I'm sorry, strictly authentic, uh, true uh, towards the uh, yes, I, to walk up Alfred Jarry. I, I knew nothing about Alfred Jarry before starting Ice Pick to the Moon and uh, realized that I needed to understand who he was in order to explain him. And so I read a lot of books and I looked at a lot of websites and tried to condense. The, the, what I thought were the more interesting slash funny parts of, of who Albert Jari was <coughs> into a two minute oral report. And uh, I actually couldn't fit everything I wanted to into the, the two minutes, which is why uh, some of the leftover information I just put in the song that sung over the closing credits. So it got in there. So it looks like we could retrospective of film based upon Alfred Jari's work. With yours at, at the first one. Uh, another question, last question. It's just a general question because you're an animator and you've got into the festival. How many festivals do you put your work into and how many actually get through to be shown? Well, that's a good question. Um, this is the first short film I've had on the festival circuit in uh, 10 years. And I think I think this is the sixth festival uh, that's been in. Um, 
I've made two feature length documentaries in the past five years, and I've gone to probably 30, 40 festivals. Uh, but I've entered plenty more. Uh, <laughs> I find that I, I get into maybe a quarter of the ones that I enter. So it's, I'll, I'll take that quarter. Excuse Sizik, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.